I've seen this book, Awesome Lego Creations with Bricks You Already Have by Sarah Dees, founder of Frugal Fun for Boys and Girls at the library for a while. But I, I just slipped, flipped through it and it just never really interested me. I, I had a lot of problems with the inside. But Builder Monkey recently went to the library and just got like all these different Lego books. And this is one of the Lego books he picked out. So I thought, oh cool, well, I'll finally look through it and see what it's about. And um, as we flipped through it, you know, one of my biggest things with it and why I kept putting it down was with bricks you already have. And when we get through this, you're going to see how that's not, I don't feel like it's an accurate description. She assumes you have a lot of bricks and different types of bricks. And so I feel like that was a little misleading. One of the reasons I always put this book down, but we'll get into that as we get in there. So we're opening the page, we've got our title page, a dedication to all the people who made this work. And this book was really made with her children because they helped build a lot of this stuff. And then we have our table of contents and how we're going to break down the different chapters. And then how to use this book. Now, like we talked about bricks you can use at home, and she's got some very complex builds that she gives you instructions for, but there's also more things that just have like pictures to inspire other ideas, or here's a few bricks to use, what can you come up with? And it just talks about how you would use this book, uh, which we'll discuss as we go through it. And then of course we have to have the brick guide, very basic brick guide. You've got bricks, modified bricks, they're round, the plates, your brackets, your Technic bricks, like nothing very complex. There's a lot more, um, more specialty bricks out there, but this just goes to the very basics. And then we've got the robot lab to start off with. And this is kind of fun because it's more like use your imagination and what will that create as opposed to having to find things around you that are real. And then right here, right away, this is a list of all the pieces you're gonna need. And you know, like I said, for something that's about with the pieces you have at home, most of us are not gonna have a lot of these pieces. And so I feel like that, that was my biggest problem with the book is that it's not things you can build at home. Um, but the, the directions are very simple and easy to follow. So you can see the build in the head and it's not just showing the pictures, but there's a little written explanation of what you're doing there, which is nice because sometimes these books do too much and you're, you're really having to reverse engineer what they did, but she is very clear with how, you, how you're gonna build this. And then um, this is a smaller model. Again, you'll probably have these pieces at home and if not, you know, the exact color is something close enough to use, but there's a lot more of these big builds that was a little frustrating. And here you have the pieces laid out and slowly coming together to build your robot. And then we got swerve and slots and mini robots. And, uh, here she just talks about the key elements and this is where she's not telling you how to build things She's saying hey, why don't you try to build this or let it inspire you to build something close to this Robot workspace, so it's not only robots, but how do you build these robots? What are these robots for? So what would you need? You need a workstation, right? You need um, a table with actual parts, you know, how are you gonna get these tall robots? So you have to cart the pieces around. So think beyond the robot, which is kind of a good idea. And then worlds of knights and dragons. And uh, this is actually what brought Builder Monkey to it. And the very first thing is this green dragon. And he really wanted to build it, but we didn't have like half of these pieces to build it. Like, we just don't have that many green pieces. And he wanted to build the legendary green dragon. So, you know, we already got, you know, we're in the second chapter and Builder Monkey already got frustrated with this book because we couldn't build this exact model. And, you know, they talk about if you don't have the pieces, you know, do something else. But for a lot of kids, it's like, oh, well, that's what I want to build. And, you know, especially with something this complex, it was like, it was going to be more like a rainbow dragon. And then we've got the red serpent dragon, which has the same issue. And, and honestly, you know, I mean, Lego has done so many dragons anyway that these aren't anything inspiring because we've seen a lot of Lego dragon designs, more simply built, more detailed built. Um, so these don't really like inspire me, um, although I do like her wings. And then we got the forest ambush catapult. And here we're using more technic pieces and we're actually building a working catapult. And, um, you know, I've seen this design in other Lego books. Uh, and then I don't do them, one, because I don't want to be firing Lego pieces with kids and learning how to do that. But also, I try, try to do things with just Lego pieces. And here you have to use a, uh, a, a rubber band. And we got the siege tower. You kind of like a history of what the siege towers are for. And now we're moving on to cars, trucks, and things that fly. And I think this is a very basic for Legos that, you know, kind of the city and space. 
and then we get a fighter jet. Uh, again, very, very long list of pieces to build this, you know, they're pretty look, cool looking jet. And you might have these pieces in different colors. The Formula One racing car. And this is kind of nice, but you can kind of see how the chassis is built to this longer car. Got the dragster, monster trucks. My cat's excited about that. I like the fact that she got this monster truck like crushing these smaller cars, and that's kind of fun. Then the rugged pickup truck. And you know, here's me, I'm actually more interested in like, I like the lake with the uh, little plants here and the shoreline with his dogs. I like that more in the car. So that just gives you an idea of what kind of builder I am. Got our motorcycle. And again, like this is kind of blocking to me. I've seen, you know, it's, uh, you can kind of tell I'm not as impressed with this book. I mean, it's very impressive that somebody can put this together. Uh, but you know, when we've got the internet and so many great designs, I feel like these books have to really wow a lot more. Got our mini jet, the foldable flyer, and with the moving wings. Classic sports car. Kind of, this kind of reminds me of like the old McDonald's toys I got when I was a kid. They're a little smaller, but basically the same design with these trans clear uh, slope pieces and the red plates and bricks. The mini vehicles. And now it's, it's a great day in Lego town. The different things you need in a city or a park. And we've got a little skate park. And um, again, this is more not how you build it, but ideas and, of ramps, steps, rails, you know, where the park bench, the, uh, the kids are sitting or the trees to decorate. And then we have the go-kart family entertainment center. Uh, this is kind of fun. And here we actually have how to build stuff little goat cart and then vet's office and you say you know it's a very very basic building design so again for your beginning build this it's nice um i don't know if we really needed this book to show us how to do it but um the playground area different playground equipment i like this climbing wall that's a really fun idea with like little uh holes with studs in them uh, the round plates with studs in them to kind of do the gripping things that kids climb on. We've seen a lot of these kind of turnabouts. Then we've got furniture for our houses and furniture design is always something you can use ideas for because there's so many, you know, go to Ikea and you can see the hundreds of different designs there are, even though the same piece is just rearranged. Uh, entertainment center, a table, make it work, Lego contraptions, it's kind of fun. So these are always fun. So you've got the candy dispenser. Um, so this is, this is actually a fun design, I like this. We got the zooming marble run, which is you know very simple. It's going to be slopes and smooth surfaces and some walls. That's something fun you can do at home. The rubber band power car. Again, we talk about how I, I like to use just Legos in my designs, but if you'd, you're okay with not having Legos and using rubber bands, that's great. We got the secret drawer treasure chest. So here's how you can kind of draw. Man, I just stumbled those words. How you can build it? The secret drawer treasure chest. Some days I can talk. Some days I can't. The ninja zip line. It's so funny. You can actually see some Ninjago stuff throughout this book. So clearly her, her kids like Ninjago. And again, it is pieces they have laying around. Wild animals. And then we have the monkeys. And there's books that are just dedicated to animals. But, you know, this kind of maybe give you some designs of how to build your own creatures. Elephants. You know, they're, they're very brick, which I think is more kid friendly. This is definitely a kid's book. I, I would not recommend it for adults. Um, I think adults want a little more um, intricate designs, but this is like a kind of a cool look. So it's just the beak of our toucan, the parrots, a tiger, the walrus. Those teeth are so cute. A rhinoceros. A little flat, it's like a flat papered wall, rhinoceros, just a little flat, a little flat. Alligators and turtles. The building uh, games to play, so you've got your classic chess set. This is a great, I love this, the foosball table, the foosball game, that was like really creative. I love this, I've never seen this idea and I really like it. And I don't have the pieces, but if I did, that's definitely something I would love to build. Uh, checkers, very simple design. Um, you know, just how you can make it as complex as you want. We've got can turn that checkerboard into a chessboard. 
Then you've got these ninja quest board games. Told you those ninjas pop up and you know, there's rules to this game, how you move forward, how you fight, how you go back. So, um, you know, if you're interested in kind of creating a board game, we've got the amazing spinning tops. Uh, these are always fun, especially I remember when the fidget spinners were very popular. People were doing fidget spinners, so that was fun. Uh, brain teaser puzzles, where you kind of have to copy a pattern or figure out how they go together. Lego all year. So here we've got the spring Easter bunny you can create with a little basket instead of getting eggs. You can just put it with a little fluorescent and neon brick colors. Summer, time at the pool. What would you need by the pool? Fall, go harvesting, pick your pumpkins for Halloween. Hey, can I create those autumn leaves? Have to have winter. Building a snowman. So many cool snowman designs. Um, you know, that, that it's hard to do one that's unique, original, and fun. Then we've got the classic Christmas tree scene. Different ways to build a Christmas tree. So many different ways to build trees. And of course, you have to have Santa Claus, the father of Christmas, if you will. And this is where we get back to like more step-by-step -step directions and a more complex build. But these you actually probably ha do have all the pieces too. And then outtakes, just kind of like having a little fun. Like, no, no, don't fall. Oh boy. See, that's what happens when kids skateboard. Now we got to take it to the hospital. Hey, why don't they listen? Got a little Star Wars in there. And then the acknowledgement of, you know, how the kids, this was a family endeavor and how they all did it together. And, um, you know, I'm really glad I finally got this book. It was uh, fun to look through. Again, um, I, with bricks you already have, sorry, I just hit the camera there. With bricks you already have, I feel like a lot of these builds are bricks you're not going to have. Um, and the designs, they're fine, um, especially for younger builders. It's, it's a good kind of look through, but uh, there definitely are better building books out there and the internet. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe or check out some of our other videos. Until next time, let's keep building together.